Hello everyone and welcome to battle report number 26 for my channel. Uh, as a standard fashion we have King's War battle report. Today we're playing Dwarves versus Basilia. A 1500 point game and the scenario we rolled up is kill and pillage. So my dwarf list is as follows. A horde of shield breakers with a brew of sharpness. Horde of earth elementals with blessing of the gods. Two troops of rangers. One troop of ironclad. Uh, one regiment of ironclad with York's Bane's amulet. One ranger captain with wings of the honey maze. Army standard bearer with the boomstick. Stone priest with the bane chant upgrade and the brew of haste. And one greater earth elemental. My opponent is playing Basilia in his... Uh, I think this is correct, but I didn't get his list, but I'm pretty sure this is close to what he had. He had one regiment of a low high with the brew of courage. I believe these are the um, um, un unwinged ones. We'll figure it out. Uh, one Another regiment of a low high. Uh, two regiments of paladin foot guard. Um, one of them has a bow of kava. I think the other one was vanilla. One regiment of paladin foot guard with the two hand upgrade and the brew of sharpness. One regiment of the, or one penitent mob regiment. Uh, one army standard bearer with the healing charm. I think he's called like the holy icon bearer or something. Anyway. One Ur Elohai with the boomstick. And uh, Nias. He's a uh, special character who's mounted um, for the, for the uh, Basilia special character. Living Legend. That's the game we're playing. So move on into deployment, and deployment from right to left for my opponent, the Penitent Mob Regiment. Um, those guys there are a work in progress Elohi Regiment. Um, so the non-winged ones, I think they're the Brew of Courage ones. Um, next to them, and figuring from right to left, is the um, War Bow Kaba Foot Guard. Um, behind them is the uh, Ur Elohi with the uh, boomstick. Um, those and those other guys next to them are the two-handed paladin foot guard with the brew of sharpness. Um, and then you carry over, you can see another uh, foot guard regiment. I think that's the vanilla one. Behind them is the army standard bearer with the healing charm. Uh, over here on the hill is a regiment of Elohi, and then on the on the ground there is uh, Nias. So on my side, um, I think this is before Vanguard. I don't think I actually move very much for Vanguard. Uh, from left to right, uh, Ranger Captain Wings of Honey Maze. Yeah, I must have Vanguarded because he's up pretty far. Um, Rangers, Rangers, um, Dwarves with the um, Orcs Mane's Amulet, the Ironclad. Um, Horde of Shield Breakers, Brew of Sharpness. Uh, ironclad in front of them and a Army Standard Bearer right behind them. Uh, and then rounding out my other side is my Greater Earth, Earth Elemental. Behind him is the, uh, is the uh, Stone Priest, where he always hides. And then the Horde of Earth Elementals. Um, so here's here's the board. You can see a few of the tokens that we have laid out. Uh, I think we only rolled up like five. Um, the last times I've played Kill and Pillage, I actually haven't rolled up very many tokens. You can see two there, and one of them is actually the statue. Um, so, yeah, here's, here's the deployment. Um... I guess for a general thought on, on why I did what I did, um, I saw him put down his penitence like right away, so I knew, hey, defense three guys, I can shoot off the board. Let's put my rangers over there. Um, otherwise, I have my other two somewhat workable groups. I'm just going to go after most of those um, tokens in the middle. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, turn one. Uh, turn one, um, I think I won the roll off and I actually took it. So doors go first, um, showing movement here. These guys move up as they can. These guys move up much faster. Um, that army standard bearer there moves up. I just, I just hadn't moved him yet. Uh, and over here, not a lot of moving, um, just a little bit of repositioning so they can do some shooting. Surge goes off. Shooting takes the penitent mob off, which is pretty great. Uh, and that's what doors look like after turn one. Basilia turn one. Um, movement, he moves up some. Nice is coming around the building. Um, yeah, there's a token down there that ends up just being ignored by everybody because it's so far away. Uh, otherwise, uh, everyone flying up. Um, over here, same thing. Moving up, positioning. And such, so. Oh, yeah. I think the guy with the boomstick shot, shot him. But. All right, yep, so that's what it looks like. The end of turn one. Uh, everyone sitting in position. Turn two. 
Um, turn two is a. Uh, <laughs> you can see I make some fairly bad maneuvering decisions during this turn, so I, I think that's probably worth pointing out. Um, so on this side, I don't do so bad. Um, Earth elementals move up to fill that gap. They can fit between there, um, but there's no need for them to rush into that. Um, I don't care. He can't double charge because he can't fit. Not that I care about that. He can do that all day. But um, the, the way they also positioned, um, they're, they're setting there so he can't, I think, I think I measured that out. He can't get a flank on my greater earth elemental there. I think so. Yeah. If, if not, he doesn't do it anyway, I don't think. But anyway, or maybe I move him later. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking on this side. Um, on this side, you can see my dwarves move up. I end up leaving a lot of things. Um, well, I guess it's not so bad yet. But I, I'm starting to leave a lot of flanks open. Um, that I really didn't want to. Like, those Elohi on the left could have definitely hit the flank of my shield breakers. It's just not... I'm not moving as cohesively as I should. Um, and on this side, I make somewhat more of an... You know, it's not too bad yet. Um, these rangers are just kind of moving over and getting into position. I probably... I probably should have more thought about where everybody was going. But anyway, so everyone moves like this. The ranger captain way in the back flying around. Um, you can see him over there. He's just trying to be a jerk. Um, I don't have any war machines to hunt, so it's not like he has a lot to do. Uh, and that's what the end of it looks like. Um, I don't think shooting was of any use. So, uh, Basilia. Turn. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Scratch some of those things I said. Um, I did turn my... So, my greater earth elemental there, I did... I did change my position on him. I just it was just after I took pictures. So I made sure that his Basili his his Elohi were in the front. So it's not as bad as I thought. But um Nias is coming around to be a jerk, as he always does. Um all of his pal his paladins charge there. Those guys charge Greater Earth Elemental. Um these two sets of paladins double charge my ironclad. Um the Elohi hop over and charge my shield breakers. Um there's well, there was enough room for them to fit, being that my ironclad are 40 centimeters deep and their Elohi are 40 centimeters deep. So, yeah, no reason they couldn't fit in there. Um, and over over here, I think, shows, like, yeah, here's a good start of my, my bad placement. Um, because of how I set everything up, I wasn't, his angel was able to come over here and kind of land um, and get around everybody. I, I should have kept one of those rangers. Um, back and facing that general direction just to just to deny just to deny him those landing areas because where I where I ended up putting them wasn't great they're not going to actually end up coming over there and helping very much so in, in essence they should have said hey I killed those penitents let's let's just hang out and keep this stuff in check and they didn't I didn't do that so uh, another another view of that so you can see getting kind of stuck in uh, the first combat he does about five points of damage to the shield breakers, and that's fine. Um, the ironclad take about eight points of damage, and they're out, and that's fine. Um, Great Earth Elemental, he's pretty tough. He only takes three points of damage. <laughs> and over here, um, this is this is like an amazing matchup for Earth Elementals, because because these guys don't have any crushing strength, so they're going to be there all day. Um, so that no nobody's. Too dead yet, except my ironclad, so that's what we're looking like. Um, turn three. Turn three looks like such. Um, the Earth Elementals charge. Um, what's his name? Or, oh, the Pallet Foot Guard. Um, my Greater Earth Elemental goes into those Elohi. Um, yeah. Yep. Uh, my Shield Breakers charge the um, Elohi there. Um, I move my Army Standard Bearer up to protect the flank and just to generally get in the way um just see at least if i could keep them from from charging you know keep those guys out of my shield breakers uh, i move my spear spear dwarf over a little bit um and over here i turn my rangers so that they can shoot um this guy which, again, I, I, I actually think was probably a mistake. Um, turning one of them to shoot him is probably fine. Um, but I 
if anything, I, I, I should have left the other ones facing the other direction to help out and, 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 and offered him a rear charge into one of them under the, under the, uh, uh arrangement that the other Rangers could have charged him because yeah, they're going to shoot at him, but he's defense five. They're not going to do much. So and they all, they both had to move to do this. So it was kind of a bad move, but, um, yeah, just reacting to the situation. Um, this guy does a couple points of damage. These guys do some damage. Nothing special. Um, I had a I had a, a a funny run of constantly failing bane chance with my uh, stone priest. So yeah, I don't show that, but that's just something that happens. These guys do really bad. Um, they don't break. They don't break the aloha in front of them, um, which was kind of a bummer. So um, that's how it looks. That's how it looks. All right. So Basilia turn three. Um, so things start to go very good for Basilia. Um, Nias comes into the flank of these earth elementals. He has some crushing strength, so he shall do a lot better than the guys in the front. Um, the guys in the front go back in. The Aloha go back in. Um, the Paladins hit my army standard bearer. The other guys go into my um, shield breakers. Um, the... The uh, Uri Lohai there charges the flank of my uh, spears, which, you know, it's kind of my fault for doing that. Um, so, just bad playing my part. Um, you can see the other Elohai here um, take advantage of their flying and just fly away. Um, they're pretty damaged, so his hope was probably, you know, it's a good place to put them. Put them in the woods, they'll get some cover, um, I'll have to turn my guys around, you know, it all makes sense. A um, little bit of healing goes off, I think, here. It's probably what this is showing. Uh, f despite only doing, you know, he did four points of damage to the guy, but he actually routes um, my army standard bear and then overruns and gets the gets the charge in. So, that's not good. Um, we go into this combat and he pops my shield breakers, which is really, really not good. Um, we perform like that. Uh, the Uri Lohai pops my Ironclad, which, again, it was my fault. Um, I should have saw that coming, but that's still not good. Um, on the other hand, though, these guys do a little bit of damage. Um, and these guys, again, just do a little bit of damage. Um, most of that damage, I think, actually has come from Nias in the flank as opposed to those guys in the front. Um, so that's what it was looking like. A lot, <laughs> a lot less dwarves on the board at the end of this turn. So that's the end of the turn. Turn four. Um, turn four dwarves. Um, my rangers turn around again. Um, kind of like I didn't know what I was doing with them, which I feel I don't or didn't. Um, turn around to do some shooting. Um, those guys in the woods are really damaged, so they're a pretty actually good target to shoot at. Otherwise, they're going to have to take a charge from one of those paladin foot guards. <clears throat> Over here, um, the greater earth elemental goes back in, and what you're not seeing is... Um, I think the ranger captain charged into him too. Was he low high? I think. I'll have to see. He's he's doing something like that. Uh, and then my earth elemental horde counter charges Nias as opposed to the um, the uh, paladin foot guard. Um, those paladin foot guards sure are going to hit him in the flank, but again, they don't have any crushing strength, so that's, that's fine. I'd rather them hit me in the flank than Nias. Uh, shooting, I actually do get a damage on these, on these Aloha in the in the woods, but I, I roll really bad. Um, yeah, there's the Ranger Captain. You can see him there. So we do pretty good against these Aloha, and we actually route him. The Ranger Captain actually really helped, um, and we reform like such. You can also see I failed Bane Chant. Um, over here, these guys do okay, but I, I actually end up um, rolling double sixes and wavering Nias, which was, which was pretty good. Um, he is headstrong, but it was a pretty good result, all things considered, compared to the last turn. So um, that's that's how we look after that turn. And just another one of those. Uh, so Basilia, he he passes his headstrong with Nias. Um, so those guys just go back in to the Earth Elementals. Um, the Uri Lohai there charges my Ranger Captain. Um, that Paladin Foot Guard Regiment with two hands turns around to face my Greater Earth Elemental. Um, that Paladin Foot Guard charges my Rangers. And after some conversation about this, we 
I said he might as well, you know, he might as well charge these rangers. Um, because if he doesn't, he's just going to get shot to death and then or charge the next turn. So he, he does eventually figure, hey, why not? Let's go fight him. Um, no real shooting for any particular reason. So uh, we go into combat and these guys do a bit of damage. They're actually starting to rack some up, getting them up to eight. Um, over here, the Uri Lohai does four damage to my ranger captain, uh, but he rolls pretty poorly and he ends up just wavering him, which is really good for me. Um, just so they didn't die, and now that, that, that guy's sitting there with a nice flank. Uh, over here he does five points of damage to these rangers, and he, he rolls really poor. And then over here he does four points of these damage, four points of damage to these rangers, and also rolls pretty poor. Which is really lucky for me. Um, so that's what the turn looks like. Um, you know, turn four. Uh, popping into turn five. Uh, turn five. The charges you'd expect come, those elementals go back into Nias. The Greater Earth Elemental goes into the flank of the Urlohai. Um, the Ranger Captain fails his headstrong, so he just pivots and backs up to get out of um, arc of sight of anybody. And both units of Rangers charge their respective targets. Um, nothing to shoot, because I keep keep failing Bane Chant. Um, these guys route the Elohai. That they were running up against, which isn't surprising. They had a lot of damage on them, uh, and and these guys do a re respectable points of damage, but not enough to uh, not enough to route an elite unit you know, like this. Over here, though, my um, <laughs> my uh, crushing strength three monster obviously just maxes a low high uh, into into the ground as he does. Um, over here, I, I, I failed to take an appropriate picture, but my, um, earth elementals go, go crazy and, um, smash Nias into the ground and reform like such. And that was a good turn for me, actually. So, um, you can see on the bottom there, I definitely made a mistake. Um, I overran with those Rangers and I didn't need to, um, you might say, well, yeah, you got on that token, but that, it's only turn five. It doesn't matter. What I should have done was just reposition them. So he's going to get a turn. He's going to kill those rangers above there. I should have I should have positioned these guys so that they could charge that foot guard unit after they take care of my other rangers. With how they're positioned now, they're going to have to pivot and take a minus one to shoot them. When they could have charged them, hit on fours and wounded on fours, which you know would have been a lot better. But just some, just some afterthought. And another picture. Um, so we missed, <laughs> I missed movement for him, but I'll, I'll just say it as it goes. Um, his guys smack up my elementals and do a bit of damage. Surprisingly, he rolls like four sixes or something. So it was pretty good, but they're okay. Um, his army standard bearer had charged my, um guy for whatever reason oh we'll probably just stop him from mage chanting or failing to bane but he doesn't do any damage um over here the two-handed foot guard do a bit of damage to my greater earth elemental but he's holding out uh over here we get into combat and my guys are out no problem so you can see at the bottom there that's what i was talking about i, I really should have had those guys positioned better to um react to this scenario i probably could have taken them out but you know live and learn so uh turn six turn six those elementals go back in to their respective targets um the ranger captain joins the uh, earth elemental horde uh trying to take those guys out on that last turn well possibly last turn spoilers Greater Earth elemental doing his thing and these like I said these rangers are just pivoting and shooting which is far less <laughs> far less potent than uh, charging and and for the first time in five turns <laughs> I finally get Bane Chant off um, so Bane Chant these guys so those those, uh, those paladins are in, a, are in a bit of hurting uh, point of damage shooting yeah, they're fine um, greater earth elemental doesn't work but you know they're fine over here though um, the combined uh, might of our, <laughs> of our elementals and ranger captain here actually waste these guys pretty badly um route them in an overrun like such so i get that token and i get those guys off the board which is great um like i said here yeah 
those guys don't do much. Um, another picture, the end of dwarves turn six. So Basilia turn six, we're wrapping up pretty quick. Um, those guys come running into the woods to beat up my rangers. Um, they go back into the elemental, and I don't think his army standard bearer bothers to do anything. Oh, because he can heal. Which he does. This is showing healing. I just forgot my tags. Um, down here, these rangers are routed. He overruns like that, so he gets that token. Um, these guys don't do a very good job. They only put a couple points of damage on him. I'm a great earth elemental, so he's cool. And that's what it looks like at the end of turn six. So we see if there's a turn seven, and there's not. So um, we tally up the results, and it ends up being a tie. Um, the dwarves, I had, as the dwarves, I had a few more points than him, but but not not nearly enough to have any sort of a victory condition. It was a uh, it was pretty it was pretty even. It was like seven hundred something points each. It was you know like a token or two, like a token each, and then we like, like contested a token. So um, otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, it was a it was a really good game. Um, it was a lot of fun. I don't play flying stuff probably nearly as much as I, I as I should for practice. Um, like I said here, I I think I, I deployed fine and I and I did play a good first turn, but I think the second and third turns, as I should have said, I did a pretty bad job of of organizing my my units and and pushing forward. Um, I should have been a lot more conscientious of my flanks, but. Um, like I said, playing against these flowers is a really good practice. Um, get, getting to think more about d denial landing as opposed to just denying flanks and charges is something that's, that's a very, um, very different concept and it's very good to practice. Um, like I said before, <laughs> I love, I love my elementals. Um, I, I'm honestly like about to get more earth elemental another earth elemental horde and another greater earth elemental like i've got the i've got the greater earth elemental box well okay obsidian golem box but um and i've got the other guys on order so i'm actually going to get another horde integrated in um just because i like the elementals so much more than the dwarves so it'll be nearly a, a forces of nature list but i like the uh, stone priests a lot and some of the like rangers and stuff but anyway sorry i'm rambling thanks for watching guys um Hopefully we get a couple more games in here um, next week. Um, I'm going to start playing some bigger games because uh, all of the tournaments coming up are 2,500 points. So I need to start getting some bigger games in um, before that so I can actually practice. So we'll see you next time. Bye.